Hello friends, welcome back to Block Project in Laravel 10. Last video we were discuss how to make like search. Suppose you are going to blogs and do you want to search? So you can make search here like keyword space you can search otherwise you click on the tags so we can show the results. So I just click on the welcome so no found so not showing the results. Suppose I click on the docs so I found show the results. You can see it now. Okay, otherwise do you want to search here? Like keywords by so also you can find the results. Suppose I copy this ones and I copy here and I refresh the page. So you can see it here is a one result showing. So last video we will discuss. So in this video we can make like our category in above. Like here is a PHP tutorials, like a HTML, Laravel, whatever we are category there inside our channel, means in the blogs, this category we can show. So let's show you one by one how we can do it. And I have one request, you are new in this channel, otherwise in this series, so please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploading, so you always get the notification, you start immediately learning new things. So I hope you have it done now. And uh, another thing, do you, do you want to buy any scripts? So you can go here and you can buy whatever we are explaining inside YouTube channel, all script you can find out here. And this is a like script inside, you can see it like errorsolution.com. Okay, so let's start now. So first of all, we need to check our database. So our database name is a blog.com. Okay. Once you can click on the blog.com, so you can see it here, category. So this category inside, you can see it like our name, PHP tutorial, Laravel tutorial, JavaScript tutorial. So we need to show here, like a header. Once you click on the blocks, so you can see it like this is the data. But suppose I will click on the PHP tutorial, Laravel tutorial, otherwise JavaScript tutorial. So we need to show this data. Okay. So I can show you how we can do it and also we can make like another data here like a is menu. Suppose the menu side need to show so yes one zero so menu means yes and zero means no. So also we need to work in admin side. So let's show you one by one after I can explain. Okay first we need to make a dynamic here category. So we need to remove like abouts we don't need here teams we don't need gallery we don't need blocks we can leave it because uh, because this is the menu already there inside Q links. So we don't want to work here. Okay. I know here we already create page, but it's already there inside a bottoms like it, our teachers. Okay. I think here not make link. So we can make links so you can see it. Okay. But let's comment out these codes and we can short out our main codes. So go to resources inside views, inside layouts, inside header.blade.php. So first of all, we need to write here query. So we need to get our category data. You can see it. So let's comment out this codes. I don't want to need anymore now. And here we can leave it. Also contact us we don't need because contact us I don't want to things we need. And you can refresh here. So you can see it here like home and blocks. But other category we need to show dynamic. So simple I will make here one query. PHP and PHP. Please carefully watch what I am doing. Okay, I just create a new variable get category header. Okay, so we need to call our model. So how we can call app inside models inside you can see like category category models. So simple just app slash models slash category models. I just copy and I paste inside we need to create a new function get category menu because we need to get this category inside a menu so it's very simple just copy and go to category models and here we need to create a new functions like a static functions get category menu and i just close this one means remove this one and just copy all things no we don't want to copy copy this all things otherwise you can copy this one whatever do you want to like just copy and paste. I know already there menu why means already there like a one function why we need to create a new because of we need to show inside admin side this is the category we need to show at like a menu side this category don't want to show menu side once we can develop admin side after I can make here like a condition right now I am showing three category is the status is equal to active also is not deleted okay so let's go back and here you can see it. let's refresh the page so we can check is the error there or not there so I just go and refresh the page. So you can see can't found the error. So working very well. Now we need to run here our for each loop. So simple dollar for each 
as a header category category header what do you want to like you can provide this name and for each I know we need to provide here variable name and just copy any lines like let's copy about us lines and here I can put okay now we can put here like a header category headers simple very simple just you can pass here name let's go back again and we can check is working not working I save these files I just go back so you can see PHP tutorial, Laravel tutorial and JavaScript tutorial here is a link about like a about us this reason showing only about us link you can see it here okay so this is the working very well no issue now we need to provide our slug here suppose you can go to our database so we have already did here slug column you can see it because we need to make like a SEO based work we don't want to make like a different way so our SEO whatever show here inside slug so this slug we need to work here so simple just you need to pass here like a category means category header slug okay just save these files and just go back and refresh the page so you can see it here PHP tutorial I know page not found because of how it's work I can explain so don't worry Laravel tutorial so you can see it whatever slugs inside admin side you can do it this is the works so let's make this URL also can works right now this URL is not working so it's very simple just go to like a uh, routes instead go to web so you can scroll down so you can see it our slug here is a slug found so here you can see it like a block details just click on the block details you click on the block details so here going this is the code I already did and you know on me know okay so right now how it's work so simple way we need to find out this slug means this slug we need to check this slug inside category slug okay, this is the cat this is the slug about block so we need a one condition so first we need to check inside a category model get category category models and we need to go inside we need to make another query like a slug wise so just we can create a new function get slug and we need to pass here slug okay now you need to go to category models and category model inside you need to create a new function same like just you can copy paste above one so also possible and here you can pass like get slug and here you can do it like a dollar slug okay and this slug we need to pass inside where query it's very simple and very easy way and here you can do like a first we need a one record only we don't need a multiple record so here you can see it what is the my explanation first of all your slug found like a blank here like a directly you can see it suppose I click on the PHP tutorial so you can see directly you can find out okay so what I did I did inside block detail inside home controller inside you can see it block details block detail inside I get the record suppose I make a DD so you can see it DD and you can see it here I refresh the page so you can see it is found very well no issue you see okay so this luck found so we need to make query if is not empty means condition not query so it's going to inside otherwise need to go else part and this is the we need to copy and put inside a else part I hope you can hear carefully and you can see it, what I am doing okay so now our work here works let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here I refresh the page now so you can see it blank found means he is going to here okay so just you can go to up and you can copy these things and you can paste here so refresh the page so you can see it now I just go back again and refresh the page this is the data I copy about the blocks this data I copy and I paste inside PHP tutorials Laravel tutorials and JavaScript tutorial you can see it here but suppose I click on the read more so same function work but he's going to else part suppose I can make here die so it's impossible to work I refresh the page and you can see it you see not going to here he's going to else part suppose I can make here die so he's a stop so you can see it you see okay so working very well no issue now we need to find out only this category data suppose I go to models and go to get fronts 
so just you need to make query another query like a uh, copy and paste and you can put here like a get record front category otherwise same function possible but i don't want to confuse how we can do it so i am always create a new static function like a get records front category otherwise i will pass here parameter and this parameter i can make condition but i like it you can understand easily and how we can do it okay i don't want to need this the filters so just remove these filters and also i don't want to need like a so just we need to make like common way okay now we need to pass here like category id so category id and here i also i make like a blocks where same like you can see it like category dot category id and here you can see it like category id we have passed inside parameter simple just to go back again and here you can make like get record front because we have created here is the id you can find out so this id you can pass here let's remove and just you can pass here id okay let's save these files and just go back again and refresh the page so right now you can see it's working very well so i go to php tutorial so working very well so i click on the laravel tutorial so you can working very well so i go to javascript tutorial so not found anything you just you can see it here and after you click on read more so it's going to insights you can see it okay suppose we don't need now blocks because we are creating like o1 category menu so block means suppose you are going to this one so read more and after you want to search any things keywords and you press so automatic going to block page like here so we don't need inside a menu also block so what do you want to leave so you can leave it i don't think leave it because we are working like as a professionally so i am not thinking we need to leave it here okay so let's go to php tutorial so you can see it like a professional home php tutorial laravel tutorial and javascript tutorial so but do you have some pages so also you can add like inside so do you want to don't write like tutorial words so also possible just so you can write like php laravel javascript and i just give you the example about the like education related suppose you have another like a, your project so you can do it your menu because it is a working dynamic so we have no issue okay so now we need to work in our admin side how to work admin side because of we don't want to show like here javascript tutorial we just to show php tutorial and laravel tutorial so how we can do it so let's log in first admin same password admin at the gmail.com like here i already save just save and just go okay and it's taking time because the first time i'm doing this reasons now i'm going to categories so you can see it like name select title meta title meta description meta keyword status and category suppose you click on the add new so just copy status and we need to make menu yes or no so we need to show menu inside can only to show so first we need to add a, here is another column like a is menu so just go to is status after we can add like a is menu okay tin integer by default i say zero and i just press the enter so column is created you can see it now i will make the one condition inside a category models okay so here only when to found data is equal to 1 same like status is equal to 1 and is menu is equal to 1 let's go to front website and we can check now is showing the menu cannot showing the menu i refresh the page so you can see it only showing home because of all the record here showing the zero you can see it here why because we have made here condition like a get category menu so you can go to headers so you can see it here you see let's close other function otherwise you are confused and also i am confused so you can see it here okay so let's work inside a admin side and we can make like a yes or no so just you can go to resources inside you can see back end inside you can see like category inside add and edit and list you can see three files just click on the adds and you can just copy paste for this status and here you can do it like a menu menu zero means no one means yes okay and here you can change like is menu whatever we have did so this information we need to save inside our database so just go to http controller inside you can see like category controller so just go and here you can copy and paste for the status i hope you can understand what i am doing okay and same thing you can copy paste inside a bottom like a update you can see like a insert category update category 
okay so same thing you can copy paste inside the edit parts so just copy and just go to edits and you can paste here and also you can copy paste this ones 0 1 like a year 0 and year 1 and here you can change like a status is equal to and here you can pass like a 0 so but this manual 0 so this is not selected suppose 1 so yes selected okay is very simple i can do it very quick but i need to explain this reason i am working as a slowly okay so you can see it now so we have done everything so like add time we have done edit time we have done category control inside done let's refresh the page so you can see it let's go to categories i edit so you can see it here by default is a no because of we ever did here zero this reason suppose i can make yes and i submit so you can see it is saved uh, suppose i go to back again refresh the page so you can see javascript tutorial you can find out because we have made a yes suppose i edit so you can see it here yes same thing you can go to add new and you can see it here like a menu yes or no by default i have said no because sometimes people don't like to add these reasons okay so this is the turn done now we need to show here like a menu so simple go to list and here you can type like a status after you can type status before do you want to type whatever do you want to place type menu and you can just copy and paste and here you can change like a is menu and here we can put like a is not empty so meaning about like yes otherwise empty means zero so meaning about no okay let's go back again refresh the page and you can see it here yes or no suppose i can make edits and th this is the also i can put like yes submit so you can see it here yes so you can see it here also two category okay same thing you can go back and you can put like yes and you can save so you can see it here now also do you want to know need this tutorial word so just go back again and remove the tutorial words here and refresh the page so you can see it here tutorials only you see javascript also do you want to write like a slug inside a edit time so also you can do it but i would did inside a name wise so don't worry whatever name you can provide so this name automatic here change you can see javascript okay whatever do you want to like you can do it otherwise slug we can do it own way like a slug column we can add here so also possible so you need to edit right now we are doing like a own way like a coding side you can see it here so when i go to add time also you can see it like a str slug is the name we are creating also update time whatever you are uploading slug we are creating so what do you want to make like another input box and you can do it like own way so own way is possible whatever do you want to like you can do it but i just suggest whatever do you want to like this is the your reasons but future we can make it like big project so we can do it like own way this is the like admin side work you can change your mind you can do it easily so don't worry about that okay so i hope you are clear about the how to make dynamic category here inside headers and also how to found the like a post so next video i can show you how to change this title how to change this title javascript inside home inside so in next video i can explain everything so our block part mainly done after we need to work like a user side so user register user can create his post and we need to show him and also we can put here like a linking and after once we can make category dynamic after last part we are remaining about like a comment so also we can short out the comments okay so i hope you can understand everything and also we can show like active class right now is not working active class you can see it like a home so home lara will so we need to make like this is the active class we don't want to make like a home active class so everything show you in next video so don't worry about that and i again request you are new in this series otherwise in this channel so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you always get get notification and you can start immediately learning and thank you for watching